Hello everybody, my name is Surgi and this is Operator Review. Let's discuss about the Big 3. If you started playing Angus since January 2020 in global servers or May 2019 in CS servers, you are very familiar with this term called the Big 3. Simple enough, the Big 3 refers to the best 3 operators in Angus in terms of dealing damage and survivability. The members of the Big 3 changes over time and eventually the term is abandoned because of a lot more meta operators. But who remembers the OG Big 3? The OG Big 3 or the original Big 3 is explained as the very first 3 best operators back when ArcNet started going online. The best operators were chosen among the first available operators. Operators which were being introduced later such as Chen and Skadi were not considered. For today's video, I'm going to discuss about the OG Big 3 and how are they now. Also, there are some honorable missions. Not in particular order, the first member of the OG Big 3 is Sirash. Sirash is a Lord Guard, means he uses Henshin to perform range attacks, and he can remove enemy stealth when he is being promoted to E2. What makes him an even stronger operator is that he reduces the re deployment time of all operators in squad by 10%. The problem about Sirash today is about his strong third skill, which is the True Silver Slash. Look, the plus 200% attack during skill activation and large attack rate looks promising, but the long CD hurts. Still, balance. He is often being rivaled with his counterpart with Torrance, which I will cover in the next video. Next, the second member is Airfila. Aya is such a consistent operator, and most doctors will use either her second skill Ignite or the infamous third skill Volcano. Even Kyobi cannot rival that. Her second talent is an RG base, but hey, extra SP is extra SP and you will unleash her volcano and wash up to 6 enemies crying in despair. Aya Fila is still a popular pick among doctors although the situation is now is that we have several other great operators who can deal massive amount of arts damage. From caster like a buff passenger to drone caster like golden glow and even arts squad like Surtur. Still, if you need a quick arts damage burst to a handful of enemies, she is the chosen one. And finally, Exercise is regarded as the third member of the OG Big Tree. Exia is a pretty much consistent operator especially if they are flying drones on several stages. If you're lazy, her overload mode will do the most job for you, otherwise the second skill which is the strapping mode will do fine as well. To me, Exia is a situational pick these days as she is often being rivaled with Ash and Archeto as shown in my previous video about the 6 star marksman. But in case of different archetypes, Chain Outer and Fia Meta can deal the burst damage, Source and Fosiumka have this similar DPS, but if you need an early stage DPS, Excel is the right pick just for you. Moving on to the honorable missions, which are Saria and Ifrit. Simple enough, you can just M9 Saria and watch her healing with either her skill 1 or 2. Or alternately, you can activate her skill specification if you don't bring any diesel binders like Angelina and Suzuran. Ifrit, on the other hand, burst consistently on just one lane, especially where her skill 2 or 3. But when I mean one lane, it means that you must position her carefully so she could deal the most damage possible. Those days, there were some debates on who should be included in the big tree. Aya and Silver Edge surely made into the list, but the last slot was pretty debatable. Depends if you're using a DPS operator or a crowd control operator. And right after the first anniversary, this debate was taken to the next level with the introduction of Torrance, Backpipe, Surtur, Mud Drop, and Mountain. So stay subscribed and stay tuned for the next episode of Operator Review where I will talk about the Gen 2 big tree. And peace out.